Ecamm Live is an incredibly easy way to get started streaming on your Mac. It is Mac only, so if you're looking for uh, PC streaming solutions, I highly suggest you check out the recommended videos here, 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 uh, and go check those out either with Zoom or OBS. But if you're on Mac, Ecamm Live is absolutely my favorite way to start streaming. You can do lower thirds, you can do multiple cameras, you can do multiple videos, you can bring in your lyrics, which we'll talk about. So so let's get into it. Here's how to broadcast your church service with Ecamm Live real quick. Let's go. So when you open up Ecamm Live, you're going to be asked to sign in. Do that. And then you're going to be greeted with this. No, not me. You'll probably be greeted by you because it will probably default to your FaceTime camera. If it does, uh, either check down here, right here. Mm -mm -mm. In this little section here, when you hover over it, you'll see your different cameras. You can also, inside of Ecamm, go to camera, and you can see all your cameras here at the top uh, listed. So you either need to have a camera that will work with Ecamm out of the box. I'll put a list in the description. Those are the best cameras you can use with Ecamm. Or you need a capture card to plug in your camera to your Mac. So your camera goes to your capture card, your capture card takes it to your Mac, and then it, your Mac is able to see the camera. That's a separate video, but... You should see all your cameras right here, including your FaceTime camera. Uh, so you're gonna have a couple things here. I'm gonna break this down into the different quadrants that you can see, and I'm gonna move from a basic sermon streaming to a couple of other cool things you can do with Ecamm right out of the box. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your camera set up, and your audio you're gonna wanna set up, there's a couple different ways you can do it. But you see this button here in the, this right here? Uh, the second one will show your sound levels and that will tell you what Ecamm is using as a microphone. You can also go to the top and you can select your microphone from here. If you're streaming your worship service from church, you're gonna want the sound from your audio board to your Mac. Okay, you can also run it from your audio board, board to your camera, uh, but it's, I think it's better to do it from your Mac because you can control it a little bit easier that way. Okay, if you're streaming from your home office or your studio like I am, uh, if you're doing a worship from home or preaching from home or just a lesson or a devotional from home, you know, just use your onboard Mac or if you have a microphone like I do, you know, you can do that. So my microphone's called a USB audio codec. It could also be built in microphone. Okay, you can do that. Or if you have some AirPods or headphones, you can select that as your mic, but get the right audio input. So you got your video coming in, you got your audio set up. Now you can get streaming super basic, super easy. Uh, what you're going to do is on the bottom right, you're going to select the destination. Okay, you can do it to Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, or YouTube, or if you have another streaming platform, anything worth their salt is going to be able to give you an RTMP key. You can just plug that in here. Custom stream key, you plug that in, okay? Uh, but if you go to Facebook, let's start with Facebook, you're going to select who you're posting as. It may default, uh, actually, when you click on this, it'll ask you to log in. So log in. And then it will uh, tell you who you're going to post as. Now, you don't want to post as yourself, you want to post as your church. So like, for example, my church, Crosswaves Church, I would do that, and we're going to post to the business page, which is the church page, the public page. Uh, if you wanted to broadcast to a group, um, I don't have the group on here, but I do have it on Church Training Academy. If I was broadcasting as Church Training Academy, you can actually broadcast to either the page timeline or the group. So if you want to do it to the group, that's fine. YouTube is pretty much the same way. You select the destination to YouTube, you select the broadcast as public, and you can go live. There's also some scheduling you can do, but for now, we're just going to cover going live now. All right. In the bottom left, left, it's backwards for me, left here, uh, you have the description. Okay. So for example, let's say the title for YouTube is going to be lessons on prayer. And the description is if God knows everything, why pray? Okay. Little quick tip again, don't make the description. Oh, we're in Mark 1 14. It's so boring. Okay. Give it something that will spark curiosity. It will resonate and you'll get more views. All right. Okay? So you got your destination. You've got your uh, description. Now you've got your video and your audio. You can just go live. Hit go live. It will go to your page. There will be a little bit of a delay. That's okay. Don't freak out. Okay. Next, let's talk about engagement. Okay. I am super into engagement and Ecamm Live makes it so easy to monitor your stream's comments without having a bunch of windows or other devices. I know some other software people got to have their phone up and they're checking. Uh, okay. You don't have to do that with Ecamm. It's so cool. Uh, you see this little guy here. You can actually open up comments right here. You can actually open up comments and reactions and people that are watching your stream who like it and then put a comment, you will see that roll in right here and you can actually comment back. 
So cool. You can see how many people are watching, how many people are liking, how many people are commenting, and then you can comment back. And what's really cool is I'll show you how to do it with the overlays, but you can actually display those comments on the stream as a lower third. It's so cool. So speaking of displays, let's talk about overlays. So if you click this guy here in the top, this very top button, it will turn on your overlay menu. And I have that over here on the right. The cool thing is you can actually drag these anywhere you want. So if I want it over here, I can put it over here. That's cool too. So I have a couple pre-made here, uh, but basically if you want to add an image, you can click here and you can actually bring in an image. So let's say I want to bring in, uh, you know, this nice picture of me and Dave. I can actually bring that in. It's not, it's not transparent, unfortunately, but let me bring in another picture. Let's say I want to bring in our badge. Our badge is transparent. There we go. So I'm going to bring in our badge and I could, I could put that in here. This could be your church logo or whatever. You can put that in the bottom left. Uh, that's cool. You want to put in a, a full screen image. You can do that too. Just bring in the full screen image like this one. And I'm just going to make it full screen. There might be a faster way to make it full screen. I just don't know it. Uh, so now I've got a full image here. That's cool. And then on the overlays, you can just select what you want to hide and what you want to show. Okay. So I like the badge. I'm going to put that here. Whoops. I accidentally took it off. Let me bring that back and you know, we could give it a little gutter there. That's cool. Okay, and then I want to put the mastermind. Oh, but the badge got hidden. I'll just bring it up to the top layer. Just like Photoshop or anything else, you've got layers here, okay? Uh, so I'm going to hide these two, bring them back to me. Uh, and you can also do lower thirds, okay? So if you want to add some text, Ecamm gives you some very basic lower thirds that you can do. So you can do a lower third. And I'm going to say, let's say, uh, you know, welcome, Pastor Mark. Okay, I'm gonna change the background color to black. Boom. Okay, we've got a welcome, Pastor Mark here. Nice lower third. You could do your Bible verses if you want. Go to Bible Gateway and take a Bible verse that you have permission to copy and stream. Uh, there are some copyright issues with some versions of the Bible. Just be aware of that. Uh, and you can put them in the lower thirds as well. If you're blessed to have a pastor ahead of time and you know what points he wants to make, then you can actually set those up in advance because as you can see, when I make lower thirds or any kind of text, it actually saves it. So I can actually go do all this ahead of time and have my scripture references ready. Pretty cool. What you can do also is you can create a lower third, uh, a background, excuse me, and then you can display that because remember we can display layers, right? So if I want my mastermind and then I want Revelation 1-1 one, one on top. So you can actually create a background lower third in Photoshop or maybe even Canva if you have the pro version and you can create transparent images. You actually create a basic lower third and then you can just add text on it with Ecamm. Pretty simple, so you can do it on the fly. Okay, also you can do a countdown. So if you wanna do a countdown, you can count down for 10 minutes. Uh, or you know if you wanna count down to a time, let's say service starts at 6.11. 11, and I'm gonna say add. And now I got a countdown here. And let's say I make it even bigger. Boom. Okay, I've got a countdown here that will count down for me. So it's got countdowns baked into the stream, just like you might have one in ProPresenter or whatever presentation software you're using. You can have a countdown going on Ecamm. So that's overlay. So we got the overlays here. Um, and, and, and that's you're basically running on all cylinders. But there's one more cool thing you can do. Let me show you. There's a little tool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the, uh, the website here. I actually don't know the website. I'm going to Google it because I'm just one of those guys. NDI.tv. Okay. It's called NDI Tools. Okay. And what you're looking for is one called NDI Scan Converter. You'll actually install all the tools and that's okay. They're a very wonderful uh, company called New Tech. But you're going to look for something called NDI Scan Converter and you're going to install that on your presentation machine. Because what it does is it will record your presentation machine. It'll record the screen or a portion of the screen. I'm motioning over here because I have another computer over here. It will record a part of your screen, the part with the lyrics, and it'll actually make it like a camera that's on the network. And Ecamm Live will pick that up. Okay, so if you actually look here, I have this new tech scan converter camera. That is actually lyrics I have running on my other computer. And Ecamm will pick that up with NDI scan converter. It's a free tool. I should have led with that, it's free. And you can bring your lyrics into your streaming computer wirelessly. You don't need another HDMI cable, another switcher, another whatever. It's all wireless. It's really good. There's, 
I can't recommend this enough as a way to bring your lyrics over into your computer. If you use Pro Presenter, there is actually Pro Presenter 7 comes with NDI baked in. If you have six or less, uh, then you can purchase it as an add on. I, I highly recommend it because you're going to be able to get your lyrics onto your Ecamm live stream. So cool. This was very basic. You can do even more stuff with Alpha and uh, other advanced video techniques. You can go to 4K streaming if you have the Pro account and virtual webcams. There's a lot you can do with Ecamm, but this is really to get you started quickly. And I wouldn't even say dirtily because like to me dirty is you got to do a lot of technical stuff and ecamm does all that for you on the back end it's really cool so to summarize number one get your video set up get your camera plugged in if you're if you're streaming from home that's fine use your facetime cam right here uh, but if you're streaming at the church get your camera plugged in into your computer, whether you can go direct from one of the ones in the description that Ecamm will work directly with out of the box or get a capture card or a hardware encoder to get that into your computer. Number two, get your audio set up. Audio from the board to your Mac or at least from your board to your camera and then select that as your primary microphone. Make sure you're not using your built-in mic. Use your audio board mic. You can use your built-in mic if you're streaming from home, but again, you might want to use your AirPods, your headphones mic. It might be a little bit better than that clunker there on your on your computer okay number three fill in your destination and your uh, description here at the bottom so just get the bottom left uh, to get your description bottom right to your destination and then that's it hit go live right you're going live everything's going smooth it's so easy if you want bring up your overlays and you can add lower thirds you can add uh images uh, if you want if you don't have your streaming computer set up to your um to your Ecamm Live. If you have any videos that you're playing during service, you can actually just bring them over to your Mac. You can click this button here and you can play videos here uh, on Ecamm Live for your streaming audience. So don't point your camera at your screen. Just play the video here within Ecamm Live. All right. And then also you can monitor your comments. As comments come in, I'm going to move this over here. As comments going to come in, I'm going to see them over here and I'm going to be able to like them uh, and reply to them and engage people, ask questions and keep them watching, keep them interested and keep them engaged with what the church is doing. So that is Ecamm Live, a very basic quick start run through, but this will get you streaming by Sunday. Start your free trial, play around with it, make sure it works. If you have any issues, comment down below. But if you have technical issues, contact Ecamm. If you want to know more about how to use it for your church, comment down below. And if you want to see some more advanced features, comment down below and we'll get started making those videos because at Church Media Guys, we want you guys to succeed and we want to do the trial and error for you. So we'll kind of experiment with all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching and remember, go change lives.